opportunities are huge. I'm a country of 200 million plus population where the youth population is comprises of 60 percent and uh, which are under 30 and the, the women are 50 percent. So you can imagine that uh, in my country where the youth uptake is so high the mobile learning could play a key role in reaching out to those who otherwise do not have access to uh, education and using technology for proliferation of education is something which is doable now in my country precisely because we have rolled out the technology have rolled out 3G and 4G spectrum in 2014 and in less than one year the, the spectrum proliferation uh, has given us the mobile broadband proliferation from less than 3% to over 15%. When, and also the smartphone usage has increased stupendously. Uh, the recent World Bank report that we've uh, seen in Khalid Times on 7th of March, they rank Pakistan uh, as top country in South Asia, uh, having uh, the maximum investment in, technolo in telecommunication and its usage. Pakistan is now ranked as number four in e-lancing. We are just behind US, UK, and Ukraine. So you can imagine it's a very technology savvy country, uh, uh, which has a very good uptake in such a short time. And now, by using technology for education, for health, for learning, for agriculture, all these are now opportunities which uh, Pakistan will be using uh, going forward from here. Uh, going forward, as you can see, that the the, the socio-economic development, the economic empowerment, we're talking about whoever is, you will uh, see that the technology has provided new avenues uh, for people uh, making a commercial sense of to as to whatever they are doing. For example, in my country, we are uh, putting in more revenues. We are we are pumping in more uh, in the uh, infrastructure deployment. We are. Uh, putting more investment in app development, in local language content. So which means that more people, more youngsters uh, can uh, participate in the, and have uh, avenues of economic generation. And not only that, that the youngsters are uh, roped into uh, having opportunities created, but also girls and women who otherwise don't have opportunities or cannot go out uh, and work outside because of different reasons can work from home. So Pakistan is now ranked as number four in e-lancing, just behind US, UK, and Ukraine. And all this opportunity is created because technology is available for people to, to participate in economic activity uh, through using technology and uh, making a life for themselves. I think uh, these type of forums provide all of us an opportunity to learn from each other, to work in cooperation and collaboration. At the end of the day, the ITU is, is a very, very global community. Uh, we all, um, I've learned a lot from ITU, and I've tried to implement uh, a lot that of my learning in my own country as well. So our experiences are all there for the other countries to learn from at whatever stage of development they are. Each and every country has their own stage of development. But the good thing about technology is that the uptake is very fast. Um, as I said, that within a year, we went from three, less than 3% mobile broadband to over 15%. And in less than two years, we have uh, increased 40% of our um, uh, FDI. Uh, and also, we have um, the export revenues have increased by like 41% software export revenues just in the last two years. So these, all these developments are taking place because there is a, a technology infrastructure rollout, uh, liberal policies of the government uh, with, with, in terms of investment, and also the top leadership, the prime minister, taking himself the interest in, in, in for the proliferation of technology.